I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. I'm here today with Yodam Segev, co-founder and CEO at Sayera, developers of the AI-powered data security platform. Visit Sayera.io to learn more about our sponsor. Yo, Tam, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. Pleasure to be here, Steve. Thank you for having me. So I want to kick off and ask you a question about the world's preparedness to store and secure all of our data. Our estimates predict that we'll have more than 200 zettabytes by 2025, but let's not get caught up on the statistic. It's sufficient to say this is a massive amount of data. We have data that is being stored everywhere from personal computing devices, PCs, laptops, tablets, smartphones, in the cloud, public IT infrastructures. Are we ready for this, uh, Yotam, to to secure all of this data? I feel like that question is a bit like, uh, do we want the sun to rise tomorrow? Uh, (laughs) It's happening. Uh, Are we ready? Of course we're not ready. Is anyone ready for the future? Uh, I think life uh, always moves faster than we can prepare. And that's part of the challenge in the security ecosystem, in the security industry. Uh, We're never asked if we're ready, you know, around AI these days, there's a lot of talk. Should we, should we hold the horses? Should we stop it? I'm not sure that you can stop it. I'm not sure that, uh, that there is such a motion. Right. I think that we should lean in and leaning in uh, will allow us to, to catch up and will allow us to make sure that we're uh, handling ourselves uh, safely. And I think that uh, humanity can move very fast when it needs to. Well, I hope that you're right. You know, there's certainly uh, some things that present more danger than others and some things we need to be more prepared for than others. So the idea of this data explosion scares me. I think it scares a lot of people. uh, And that's not to be pessimistic. Um, I I think it's realistic. Now, one trend that we have seen, Yotam, is uh, a very large portion of the data is being stored in the cloud. And looking out to 2025, we're estimating about half of it will be in the cloud. And in the cloud can mean private cloud infrastructures, public clouds. In your opinion, is that a better thing? Are we going to be able to do any better of a job at securing data as a result of it moving to the cloud? I believe that the cloud, uh, in all its different forms, is a huge advantage to security. The very foundation of it you get one API that to some degree addresses and gives you access to all of the different objects, all of the different assets that you keep inside of this cloud. And I think that that is an amazing enabler. If used correctly with cloud native, cloud first technologies, will actually allow uh, organizations, people to have much better security of their data than they ever did before. Yotam Sayera provides the AI-powered data security platform, and you can correct me if I have that wrong, but the combination of AI and data security, it's not immediately obvious, but it's very intriguing. Uh, I spent a lot of time on your site, which is very, very well done, and learned a lot about uh, what you're doing, but maybe you can connect the dots for the CISOs who are watching us now. Gladly. So for us, AI has always been at the core of the technologies that we're using in order to better classify data. And what does that mean? Out of those uh, 200 zettabytes, what is really important? Which, what of that data is our crown jewel data, is the most important assets our organizations and we personally have? How do we make sure that those assets are, are truly secure? And this goes hand in hand with the risk-based approach. We can't secure everything equally. We have to focus on what really matters, on what makes a big difference for our organizations and for ourselves. In the safe that you have in, a, in your hotel room, there's only room for a few items and you're, not gonna put, uh, you're probably not going to put your T-shirt there. You're going to put your wallet, you're going to put your passport, your identity card, maybe your cash. Those are the things you really want to protect and uh, you want to put in the safe. And the same logic applies to the data environment and the data ecosystem. And Sayera helps organizations through AI understand, see what data they have out there, discover and classify it, and focus their security efforts and the security uh, initiatives around what matters most. So Yotam, if I was able to give you a gold star, I would, because uh, we don't have a lot of uh, cybersecurity founders and CEOs who speak to the boardroom here, and I didn't ask you to do that, but when I'm listening to you and I'm thinking about the power of AI, 
you know, that's a boardroom message. That's a C-suite message. Are CISOs and cybersecurity leaders looking for that messaging? Are they struggling with explaining to the board, you know, why this is so important? So I think that data and data security are an amazing bridge between security and the business. Because if you try to explain to the business that there's a vulnerability in a machine running in your cloud, I'm not sure they're with you. But if you tell them all of our customer data is exposed to the public and anybody can download it, I think that that they can understand. So putting the focus on data actually helps to have a much, much clearer, much more crisp conversation with the business. And when you think about the risk management at the organizational level, everybody understands that there are certain pieces of information that they don't want exposed, that they wouldn't want to be taken. All of us experience that as individuals. Uh, and that's something that's easy to relate to and easy to convey to the board. I think that for many CISOs today, there's a lot of buzz around them about AI. We want to be a data first uh, company. We want uh, to have a, a business advantage leveraging our data. What does that actually mean when it gets to the brass tacks? What can I actually do to support this digital transformation, this AI uh, uh, change? I think that many CISOs are looking at Sierra as a way to leverage security to help the business get a better understanding of their data. And data is a business asset. We're not securing it because it's a security asset. We're securing it because it drives our business. And if you can inventory it, if you can understand it, if you can contextualize it better, faster, more automatically than ever before, then you have something to provide the business. You can really help the company accelerate. So, Yotam, your company, Sayera, is very hot. You're in the news. I mean, you've been all over the news lately, and we're going to get to that in a few minutes. But CISOs tell us they want the backstory. You know, a lot of times, you know, they're asking us about companies. Where did this company come from? How were they founded? You know, what were the early days like? So can you take us back a little bit and give us the backstory on Sayera? Of course. So Sayera is really a story of partnership. Uh, it all started because of my connection, my relationship with my partner, my co-founder, uh, Tamar, who is our CTO. And Tamar and I have been uh, together in the Israeli intelligence since 2010. We started our journey in a very small unit called Talpiot, which is Israel's Elite Technological Leadership Academy, and worked in cybersecurity in the Israeli NSA 8200 uh, for the better part of the last decade. And in our last position at the agency, and we had an amazing opportunity, amazing privilege to found and lead a new business unit from scratch. That business unit was built all on top of cloud as a way to accelerate it, as a way to, to help us uh, uh, move quickly. And that was our first experience trying to protect data in these cloud environments. And we realized that many of the traditional approaches that we had in the past Let's detach the data from the internet. Let's lock it up in a vault. Let's make sure nobody can touch it or move it anywhere. They weren't really applicable to the new world we were operating in. And we realized that there's a huge gap there. We've been very fortunate to have had a lot of uh, support from the security industry and from the, the big enterprise security industry here in the US and in Europe, across the globe, and have incredible security leaders and their teams spend a lot of time with us before we had a product to offer them to make sure that we get a very clear, a very crisp understanding of the challenges they're experiencing in data security today with everything that is changing in our IT environments. And that allowed us to really build Sierra in a way that has an incredible product market fit. And we're seeing today the, the, the POC conversion rate. Right? Once customers try this out, they're buying it. And, and that's all due to the help and support that we've gotten from the industry in really understanding and being able to tackle the pain points in data security head on. And how long did it take you from, you know, startup until you got to that first product? So I think that the first product we took to market was very quick, but it was very small, mm -hmm. right? It was a very precise uh, uh, product that did uh, just one thing amazingly well. And that was data discovery and classification in AWS. And that was where we started. And, you know, that's a great place to start. But if that's where you finish, then you're not important and you don't <laughs> solve big problems for anybody. 
Right. And in data security, the problem is huge. It's siloed. It's complex. And that's part of the reason that we're raising so much money to be able to build a big solution, to solve a big problem. Because as security practitioners, we know what we're looking for. We want uh, partners who are able to take a big problem and solve it in a concise way. And that's what Sayera is all about in the data security space. So you talk about you know, raising a lot of money. Last year, I think it was $56 million. Just recently, it's been all over the news, $100 million. That is a lot of money. What are you using the proceeds for outside of product development, sales, marketing, partnerships, geographic expansion, all of the above? What is it that you're doing now? So we're not focusing on geographic expansion yet. We're very much focused on the U.S. market uh, with a bit in the European market as well. Uh, but focusing on the U.S. as a place to really solidify the company and uh, build our presence in the market and really help provide value to big enterprises on this journey. I think that on top of uh, product development, we're building a go-to-market team and we're investing a lot in our customer success and post-sale organization uh, because data security is, is a journey that has many layers to it, right? Our product plays a part in that, but we want to be able to support the organizations in other aspects and help guide them through the journey that is becoming a, a operationalizing data security in the enterprise. So anybody who listens to our podcast knows that we have a lot of CISOs and in particular Fortune 500 CISOs who come on our podcast as guests regularly. Uh, so that audience is uh, watching us. They'll be listening in a, in a podcast format. So what do you have to say to them, Yotam, insofar as the market? It is a, a crowded market but not necessarily what you're doing, but, but of course there are analysts and there are media who just tend to you know, put these big picture classifications uh, around certain spaces. So how is it that you stand out? How is Sayera unique? Speak to those CISOs. For us, our unique value proposition, it starts with the ease of deployment, how easy it is to switch on Sayera, how easy it is to test it out, and the time to value. Today. All of us in security and outside of security, we're not very patient. <laughs> Nobody wants to wait two or three years to see the project reap, uh, reap rewards. If you turn it on, you want to be able to see value immediately. Right. And Sayera is able to do that. It's able to plug in to, cl to your cloud environments in the easiest way possible. And it's able to show you all of the data and data risk that you have there immediately. And that's valuable. And that's driving adoption and driving excitement in the organization and allowing these CISOs to come to the board with a presentation that they actually care about, understanding what we have out there, what could put us at jeopardy and how we reduce and mitigate that risk. But also it enables them to do more with their teams without burdening them because every security team that I've met with is stretched thin to the bone. Nobody has any capacity. Everybody is hiring and not finding the right people. And if you're looking for a way as a vendor to help customers, it has to be so easy. We have to make your lives easier. And that's what Sayera is all about. So for a large enterprise, how much time would it take for them uh, or how much time has it been taking the clients that you're working with to evaluate and just understand what Sayera does? So we're saying... Big enterprises, Fortune 500 enterprises, uh, converting from a POC to a paid customer in five weeks. Wow. Uh, which is a very, very, very short time frame uh, to operate in. And then what does the deployment look like? I, I mean, I know every company is different and there's so many different variables, but on average, how long does it take for an enterprise to actually turn Sierra on and, and be operational? So the deployment is... From a technical standpoint, it takes minutes. Of course, big organizations have change management uh, processes. They have things they need to go through in order to actually do that. But technically, it's just provisioning a role to your cloud environments, to your cloud organizations, uh, to your Office 365, to your Snowflake. And that's all Sayera needs to operate. Some organizations that are highly regulated prefer to run in the outpost model and where we run our classification engine in their cloud. And then all of the data processing happens in their cloud. And uh, even that is very easy to do. 
and doesn't take uh, any time to to really get it going. The bureaucracy takes more, much more time <laughs> right. than uh, than the actual technical uh, implementation. So, last question, uh, Yotam, before we let you go. When I look at what Sayera is doing. I see tremendous value for mid-market companies and even for small businesses, but of course you can only interact with so many organizations. Do you have a partner network? Is that part of your strategy going forward to, to service you know, those other size companies? So we're building our partner network uh, as we speak and uh, kicking off our partner program uh, the days, and we're looking to, to serve the market in a wide fashion. Our focus today uh, is on the top market, but we're already seeing adoption for much smaller organizations that are looking for these solutions and are coming to, to knock on our door. And uh, we want to support them to the best of our ability as well. Well, that's great, Yotam. We'd love to have you come back on with us and you know continue to follow the company and continue the conversation. Thank you, Steve. Thank you for having me and thank you for the opportunity to share. I'm Steve Morgan, founder of Cybersecurity Ventures and editor-in-chief at Cybercrime Magazine. Joining us today was Yodam Sekev, co-founder and CEO at Sayera, developers of the AI-powered data security platform. Visit Sayera.io to learn more about our sponsor. You can keep up with all of our media at cybercrimemagazine.com. Cybercrime Magazine.